Hi, Cancer. It's L here. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see. What is going on for my cancers? What is happening for cancer? Okay, that card wanted to come out definitely. Justice. All right, could be dealing with a cardinal energy like yourself, Libra. Okay. Um, karmic justice here. Needing to go backwards, make something right, do something right, make it right, so that you can then go forward. This could even be in, in debt feeling indebted to some of you this could be physically like monetarily in debt to someone or this is, could be karmic debt like i feel like i need to make it right i feel like i need to go backwards um this could even be some of you trying to decide if you should do the right thing or the wrong something about right and wrong is it should i stay should i go this could even be in regards to divorce separation or legal separation or some, of some sort this could even be repayment of debt like okay so then um if i leave then who's going to repay this or how are we going to do this or do that or how can i repay this person for all that i put them through or all or how will they repay me for all that they put you know um, me through you could be wondering if someone is getting a divorce also. Yeah, the three of pentacles. You've been in some long-term relationship with someone here. It could be third party where somebody is already married. You're wondering if somebody will divorce, if someone will separate, if someone will make the uh, breach, if they'll let it fall or, or they stay with it. Will they, um... I was hearing, you know, when I was shuffling for you, um... Why can't I remember it? I just was uh, meditating and I was shuffling for you. It'll come back to me. Clear. That's what I was hearing. It was like clear my throat. Or someone is, I don't know if you made it clear or you want to say something or you want to clear, especially with Justice card, you want to clear something out or you want to clear up the past, or you want to clear something or somebody wants to clear something with you. You feel like it's clear that maybe you work well with somebody or that, you know, in a relationship, it could go well or it would work well. You're making it clear that you want this relationship. I don't know if there's like a third party in your relationship. If you've, you know, allowed someone to come into your bedroom also. Okay. All right. That ain't none of my business. Um, let's see. What else is going on for it? Cancer. Okay, so the King of Swords definitely could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Libra coming up heavy. Got two Libra cards here. Someone with Libra in their chart, maybe Sun, Moon, Rising. Um, um you feel like this person is. Um, I heard indecisive, off and on. Um, you feel like they're they're coming up with some strategy of how to move, or they're being real strategic in regards to how they move. This person is acting like a bachelor, even if they are not. You feel like they're out for self, or they kind of operate like for self, like they do for self. If they make food in the kitchen, they make it for self. You know, if they buy some tissue, toilet tissue for the house, they buy uh, one roll, two rolls for self. It's, it's just like you feel like this person is all for self. You know, um, you feel like they don't want to be in a relationship anymore, especially if you're married to this person. Or this person feels this is the way you are, Cancer. They feel like you really want to be the bachelor. You really want to be a bachelor. The eternal bachelor, says the king of swords. Somebody could feel as if you're very narcissistic. You just more so keep, you worry about self. You, you concerned about self or you put self before others or you don't even have to worry about self-preservation because self comes before you even have to persevere through anything. This is how somebody feels about you or this is how you feel about them. You feel like there's no act of, you know, devotion or dedication. This person is not dedicated to, to the relationship, dedicated to making it work. 
You also feel like some of you, you feel like you need to go to counseling, counselor. Yeah, to make it work, eight of pentacles, to work on a relationship. Some of you feel like you're spinning your wheels. You're giving this chance after chance over and over. Or somebody feels this way about you. you. Somebody's thinking about you over and over. You're thinking about them over and over. How can you make this work? This has been a relationship where it's been off and on, hot and cold, in and out. Yes and no. Um, we're back on and then we're off again. It's it's just um, turbulence. Yeah. Okay. Now we got the eight of wands showing its face. It's like somebody's trying to manifest you, trying to bring you back into, or uh, yeah, or this is what you're trying to do, bring you back into some some chaotic love relationship, into fighting for them, or fight, or, or being on the team, or being one of the team. Somebody wants someone back that they took for granted. The Ten of Wands and the Knight of Cups. So if someone took you for granted, uh, Cancer, they definitely want you back, especially if it's a Sagittarius. They put you in a place where you feel like you had to fight for their attention, their affection. They put you in some type of love affair. They couldn't divorce something else or someone else. They couldn't let it go. This was a karmic situation. There was no plan in regards to how you guys will operate with one another when you first met. It was just, okay, um, whatever happens, happens. And then what happened was somebody actually fell in love or strong like or whatever. And then it turned karmic. The karma that we create for ourselves by way of not declaring our, our intentions in the beginning or having no intentions. This also happens when intentions shift. Somebody intended for this just to be a hookup situation. And then somebody was like, no, 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 I'm obsessed. I'm in love. I want this back. Somebody wants someone back. Somebody who's closed off to them. Someone could be trying to manifest this person back, manifest an opportunity, a date to make them fall in love with them again. This could be you, Cancer. It could be the other person. Somebody's more so focused on one particular energy. They may even have other energies after them. Cancer, if this is you, you may even be ignoring other people around you. These people are getting testy with you too. They get a little upset because you're more so focused on getting one particular energy back. Could be Aquarius, could be Scorpio. Scorpio coming up, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. He, he could be anybody, don't get hung up on the signs. What is the advice here for cancer? What is the advice for cancer? Somebody is having sleepless and restless nights, okay? And they're trying to keep constant company. They're always on the phone, never wanting silence. This could be you, cancer. You don't want to deal with the fact that you need to deal with something. You need to deal with you. Um, or it could be someone that, you know, you, that you're in, you know, communication with. They don't, they don't have no peace and they don't want it. And the silence, it speaks truth and somebody just doesn't want that you could be dealing with someone who's like that they're keeping up a lot of drama what's the advice for cancer yeah page of cups so make the offer the romantic offer you need to be more romantic you need to be more genuine you need to put a little more time into beauty and fashion you know if that's what you're you know into uh, maybe even you need to put some more time into your child if you have a child or a younger energy around you. I heard perfume, cologne, yeah, Ace of Wands. It's like you need to be up for the challenge because if you if you are concerned about one particular person, or it could be vice versa, if they're concerned about you, Cancer, it's going to take a lot for you to come back to them or it's going to take a lot for them to come back to you. You have to be up for the challenge. You have to throw your hat in the ring there. That means that maybe this person has other opportunity, other options, but you have to be up for it. If this is what you want, if this is who you want. Yeah. It's like, it looks like this is who you want. It's like you want reunion or reconciliation. You want them to forget about the past. You want them to give you another chance. Um, you want them to weigh up the pros and the cons, look at it from a different standpoint. 
Yeah, this could be you. There's you. Uh, the chariot card. It could be you. It could be someone else. You definitely want reconciliation with someone here. The cards want you to be self-aware, self-awareness. The experience of one's own personality or individuality. So have self-awareness. Take some time to sit with yourself, okay? And think about how people are taking you in or how they experience you. It's not all good. It's not all good with me. It's not all good with the next person. Everybody's not having this great experience with you. So you have to be self-aware so that maybe you can make adjustments where needed. Does that mean you need to completely change you? Hell no. But maybe in certain circumstances, you need to say, whoa, I was completely out of line, or maybe I didn't think, or maybe I'm not thinking, or maybe I knew whatever. This is what I have for you, Cancer. I hope that it resonates for you. If it does, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Are you self-aware? Let me know. Say, yes, I'm completely self-aware that I don't give a fuck. <laughs> um, anyhow, uh, Cancer, um, if you want to get your own personal reading, do so by going over to the website. The website is linked in the description box. Um, all readings are 50% off, so the price you see is not the price. Use 50 off at checkout and get 50% off your reading. Come, let's you know, talk about your life and come up with a plan of action so you can get the results that you really want. All right? Thank you, Cancer. Many blessings to you. Take care.